Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We're back here again with the latest hilarious update on the never-ending tragic comedy that is Meghan Markle's desperate plight for relevance and celebrity. This one's a real doozy so buckle up. Now, have you ever seen the royal expert reports claiming that the Duchess of Delusion's launch of her sad little Montecito Momfluencer Jam project may have spectacularly backfired? Because get this, rather than generating hype for her precious new American Riviera brand as undoubtedly intended, Meghan's headline-seeking stunt has instead sent droves of Brits rushing to purchase an identical product made at King Charles's Highgrove estate. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, I mean, how absolutely poetic and delicious is that royal karma? This conniving, starving reality actress thought she could breathe new life into her rapidly fading cultural cash by performatively launching some dumb jam product line she likely got some low-level functionary to slap her name on. Likely envisioning hordes of her dwindling American stands rushing out to buy the latest mundane product from the Duchess's empire once more slobbering PR photos circulated. But in reality, the only entity that appears to have seen any meaningful commercial boost from Meghan's thirsty little ploy is none other than the Sovereign himself, because rather than salivating over pics of the Duchess's jam jars being gifted to random D-list celebrity pals seeking clout by association, scores of plank-spoken Brits had the exact opposite reaction, flocking in droves to King Charles's estate store to buy the original High Grove Strawberry Preserve instead. I mean, could this delicious serving of cosmic just desserts for our delusional duchess be any more richly ironic? The supposed diabolical mastermind pulling all the devious strings from behind the scenes completely outmaneuvered and humbled on her biggest media play yet by the very institution she's tried to sabotage and publicly dismantle over the past few years. This time last year, you just know Megan was daydreaming about launching her little passion project from her Montecito estate and it becoming a goop-level runaway commercial success, likely manifesting fantasies about leveraging the fawning press coverage and product launch buzz to parlay her organic momfluencer brand into becoming a globe-spanning retail juggernaut, maybe one day even getting picked up for distribution by the likes of Whole Foods or Costco as a true creative force in her adopted homeland. But alas, while the masterminds behind Buckingham Palace's digital operations swiftly scrubbed the Sussexes from the official royal website, the astute old dogs at King Charles's operation proved too savvy to underestimate Meghan's insatiable hunger for publicity by any means necessary. So when the Duchess and her slimy team of cut-rate celebrity enablers inevitably did try to hijack global headlines by teasing all the blood, sweat, and tears she clearly applied to some defrosting fruit and poured into mason jars, the wise king simply stayed one step ahead of the ploy. Content to let Meghan exhaust every media relation trick and C-list actor friendship connection in her Rolodex bombarding the world with glamour shots of her little jam release. Only for the crowd's communication deputies to turn right around and leverage the unexpected renewed interest in fruit preserves toward putting the official palace brand front and center. While Megan scurried to exploit online hype around her dubious organic entrepreneurial skills, Charles and co swooped in behind the scenes to quietly restock the genuine Highgrove estate shelves with fresh supplies of its signature strawberry jam product. So what do you think about this, guys? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.